Let's try it one more time. This time, uh, yeah, just have a curve one more time. Just go ahead and pick, go and pull one out. Yeah, I didn't show it to the camera. Six hearts. <laughs> Tell it to me. I appreciate it. All right, and then do you know how to snap your fingers? Snap it? Yeah. Yeah. You know what that does? What? I should bring your card to the top. Yeah. Oh, really? Six hours. You're <laughs> very honest. <laughs> we had that twice today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got twice in a row? That's yeah. crazy. All right. Well, let's try that one more time, all right? So this time we'll take the six and the nine. Lose that in there. One more time. So you see the six. Okay. Here. Lose it. Just center really slow. Just go ahead and just push that in all the way. Beautiful. You know what to do. Snap your fingers. It is. But more than that, I think this, what I like about it is authentic. It's, it's, it's him being where he's the most comfortable, what he likes to look like, instead of being, you know, um, what everybody else is doing. He, 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 he seems very authentic to me in a person that's, that really is who he, who he appears to be. Any card you like for me, show it to the camera, show it to your friends. Let me know when I can turn around again. Did everybody get it? Yeah, I got it. Right. Okay. And then can I... Jeff, you are totally in... Oh my god, okay, I know What you. was your name? <laughs> Christina. Christina, just say stop whenever you want. Okay. Stop. Okay. Let me put the card back right here. And we'll lose it in the deck. And I'm going to be honest with you ladies, for the first time since we met, I can't find the card, unless I have your help. So if all three of you could just blow a tender kiss. Cards. It's very sweet, thank you. That will make it so that one card stands out way more than all the others. Sort of how you ladies kind of stand out more than all the others. Oh, That's from your from you. LA, yeah. <laughs> hmm. I didn't see any cards that stood out. Let's try that one more time. Oh, here's a card that kind of stands out. Did you pick the card with the Hershey kiss on it? Do you remember? I don't remember. Okay, what but was I the card? I can tell you what it was. What was it? Or clovers. There it is, six of clovers. But wait, can you ladies hold out your hands just like this for me? Are you gonna give us some Hershey kisses? Two, three. Oh, what? Three. I love Hershey kisses. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla. All right, so I assume that you three have heard of gravity before, is that right? Right. Okay, so you can help me with this. Because sometimes I forget how gravity works. Which way does it usually affect things? Uh, down. Down, okay, so that would be an example of gravity, right? Right. But for me, I'm forgetful. Like for me, sometimes things fall up and back down. Let's try it one more time. And it's very confusing, but I appreciate your help. Especially Caitlin's help. <laughs> Here, let's try something else with this twin. In fact, do any of you work at a bank or do you save your money? Yeah. Oh, you do? I don't save money. You work at a bank? I don't save money. No, yeah. Yeah. I don't work when I save my money. Jerkin, I'm going to give this to you because I always lose money. Wait. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. We'll get it back. Uh, I know you save money, so we'll just get it. There we go. Right behind your ear where you keep it. <laughs> I have goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> let's try that one more time, okay? This time, we'll make the coin disappear on the ground. Totally just goes away. Or, Jordan, you can stop carrying this about that. Yeah, I, I know, I'm so. looking at that hand. Yeah, I actually don't keep it there either. I really am bad at I keeping really my money around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, no, I was serious. I actually do keep it on the ground. You see? But the best thing about this money is that I like to make big money with magic, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. World? Hi, I'm Jeff, Jeff Black. Um, and you guys look great. Where, where are you from? Ohio. 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 Donna Beach and. Ohio. Ohio. You guys too, Ohio? The OH10? California, beautiful. All right, well, I want to try something very special here, okay? And uh, what was your name? Kaylee. Kaylee. Go ahead and just look at the cards, pull out anyone you like. Show it to the camera, show it to your friends. <laughs> and then if you could write your name really big on that card, or if all three of you could do that. something very special, a miracle of solid passing through solid that we're going to try to use to find this card. You want to put that back? Anywhere? I'm at the Sharpie, but oh. right here. <laughs> All right, now yeah, put the card back. Right there, you sure? Okay. And now I actually have a handkerchief 
We're going to check that out. Make sure there's nothing in there. There's nothing special about it. Looks good? Yep. Okay. So here's what we're going to do, okay? We're going to try to uh, actually have your card get lost in the deck. And then we're going to try to find it. So what's the best way to do this? Something like that. Okay. What was the card, by the way, that you picked? Six of clubs, all right. Free hands. Got one. The six of clubs. Thank you. Go ahead and take that for me. Uh, here, you take the cards out of the deck, or out of the handkerchief. Make sure there's no other ones that could have come out. All right. And then, I don't know if any of you ladies are thirsty at all. Is anybody here thirsty? Yeah. No? You are? What is your name? I'm Monica. I'm Jeff. Here, Monica, I got something really special for you, okay? No, even better. Much healthier. My pleasure. It's actually a blank deck of cards. Have you seen something like this before? No. Never? All right. Well, I thought it'd be cool if we just had Bobby. If you just thought of one card. Just think of it. Don't say it. Okay. You got one already? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to reach into your mind. Pull out the one card you're thinking of. Yeah. Perfect. This is it right here. So, Bobby, I'm committed. Go ahead and say it out loud for everyone at home and for Jan. Do you want to change your mind? That's a very common card. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. extremely common. Right, go on in. Uh, I'm so committed. I didn't <laughs> pick the Ace of Spades, right. but what did you pick? Yes. yes. What's the new card? Nine of Diamonds. The new one is the Nine of Diamonds. Are you positive? Yes. All right. I'm very happy you said that. <laughs> That's exactly oh, the card I keep in my pocket. Blank Nine of Diamonds. Oh, good. Thank you for humoring me, I appreciate that. But <laughs> that wasn't your card. But if it was printed, that really would have been your card. Because I mean, all the cards are blank. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'll show you why I use a blank deck. It's because I can practice my shuffles with it. As a magician, this is very useful. But what do you do with cards, Bobby? You, don't, you, you play cards. No, 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 we don't play cards. But you might if you actually had cards. All right, so you can do that with these too. Right. All you have to do, just watch, just give these a wave. That makes it so that one card prints. But not just this card, actually, this card prints, and that one, and that one. In fact, every single card in the deck prints. That's how a card chart prints. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> not only do the cards in my hand prints, but Bobby, one of my pocket prints as well. Go ahead and pull that off for me. You want me to take it out? Show it to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. There we have it. That is the one I chose. Correct. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Noah, I have a deck of cards. Go ahead and just take these. Okay. Cut any amount of cards into my hands. Perfect. And just from the weight alone, I can tell. Raina, would you hold your hand? Oh. Just from the weight alone, I can tell this is exactly 33 cards. One way to find out, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 33. Yay! Yeah, that's nice. Thank you. What? Maybe that was luck, right? Did you want to try that again? Absolutely. Have you seen this done before? No, quite a lot. Okay, let's try it again. A little bit, uh, a little bit lighter this time. This to me feels like exactly maybe like 28 cards, 28 cards. It's not an exact science, you know, it's weighing them in your hand, but 28. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Thank you. Thank you. How is it with the I'm gonna try to make this even more difficult. More difficult. Um, 
what is your name, ma'am? Angie, would you come up here, please? As everyone gives you a big round of applause. Yay, Angie! All right. All right, so we're, we're going to use these three and try to do something absolutely impossible. So we'll start right here with Noah. Go ahead and just cut a small amount of cards, not the whole thing. Leave some for them. And look at the bottom card. Show it to everyone here. Show it to the camera. And then once you have done that, shuffle those up, OK? Shuffle these up? Yes, please. And then, Reyna, you're going to cut off some cards, but you're not going to look at any of them, OK? OK. In fact, you're going to take the bottom card, slip it out from underneath, and put that in your back pockets. Right, OK. And that way, nobody gets to see it. And then that leaves Angie, right? Angie, would you let your hands? I'm going to, once again, try to tell you exactly how many cards are here without counting out. One, two, three, you know, that's too easy. So by weight alone, this feels like exactly 32 cards. No, 33. 33 cards. One more time. Let's try this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Thank you. Now, at this point, if we remember, Reina has chosen a card and nobody got to see it. Not her, not me, not Noah. Is that correct? It is. I'm going to make a small prediction real quick. Okay. I think this is the card that Reina will pick, but... Uh, I want you to just take a wild guess for me. What card do you think might be in your pocket right now? Uh, three clubs. Do you want to change your mind for any reason? No. You're, you're positive? No, I'm positive. I don't want to change my mind. Okay. So if I had to guess the card in her pocket right now, I would have gone with probably two of diamonds. But hey, it's one of 52, right? Uh, Let's see how you did. Go and check it out. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> two of diamonds. <laughs> but if you remember correctly, thank you. If you remember correctly, I made a prediction right before you pulled that card out, right? Yes. You said, what, the three of space? Three clubs. Three, three clubs? Did I say three clubs? Good. Whatever! Anybody here have a lighter? I do have one just in case. We don't. Beautiful. Um, this one, we have a little bit of wind. There's a torch lighter, so it avoids the wind. Does anyone know how to use this? Anybody? Can I shock you? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's a real lighter. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's real. Um, can I give this to you? All right. You know how to use such a device, right? Um, let's see. Here. All right. Go ahead and activate it. Looks like it might be on. It uh, worked. Hey. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and try to use these to do something you're never going to forget. Here, Frenchie. I'm going to... Lighter? Yeah, you got the lighter, so I want you to help out. Go and just touch any card. Just touch one with the lighter. The lighter? Yeah. That one. Okay. <laughs> I'm <right>. not on. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> That'll work. All right, Frenchie, I want you to make this card extra special because you're going to write your name really big on this card, okay? Yeah, really big. I love it. Such a great name. All right, so you don't normally sign seven of hearts, do you? in your spare time. Okay, so this is special in that case. All right, so I want you to be able to confirm that's your signature at all times. Just a test run real quick. Is that still your signature? You can remember that if you saw it again? Okay. So my first name is Jeff. Does anyone know my last name? It's Black. Black. So that means, of course, that if I take your card and I let the black magic flow through my body, we can do something amazing. Is that your signature? This, here we go. Look at that. I my, my name. I, uh, the hard part to get the theremin in the throat, make that noise. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually about to say a Thurman joke, but you got me. I'm sorry, I, I apologize. I didn't, I didn't read the script. I, I didn't know. I... No worries. Oh, see, I can't do cool stuff like this. Oh, you do lots of cool stuff. Bust out the glue again. <laughs> Bust out the glue again. You want to take it? Yeah, I'm going to have it. Go ahead. Don't, <laughs> no, don't sniff glue. It's better. I already sniffed markers. That was bad enough. That was, that's not good for you at all. I, uh, let me see. I'll, I'll show you. Uh, well, I was showing you the card thing earlier. Uh, let me show you this one. Yeah. Uh, let me show this one thing we'll do with this. Uh, here, take a card up for me. 
I'm gonna let this one. Yeah, show it to show it to them over there. I don't want to see it. I'll, I'll turn away. That way I can't see it or anything like that. You got it? Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, watch. I'll do this again. This is his deck. Your deck, which sounds perverted. Uh, so your card goes into the middle right there. I'm gonna cause your card to not turn over in the deck. Okay. Oh wait, there's s'mores. Watch very carefully. Uh, what ends up happening is all the cards except for one reverse themselves just like that. Actually, one, actually two. Go ahead, take a look. Is that one right? Is that your card? It is three clips. Awesome. Hold on. Now, because not all of them turned over, I can get them all to do it except for yours. Watch your card goes in just like this, and every single card reverses itself. There we go. That's all of them. All fifty-one uh, except for your card, just like that. Beautiful. Goes all the way just in. Here you go. You can have those back. That was great. That's good. Thank you. I noticed uh, all the magic you've shown me as long as I've known you, has been extremely visual. Well, I prefer the, the nice visuals. I like weird visuals, and I like stuff that pops, you know. What was your card? Uh, seven of spades. Thank goodness. OK, so we're on card number one. Melinda, do you remember the card that you picked? Yeah. Go ahead and say it for everybody. What was your card? All right, so Melinda picked the four diamonds. Well, uh, what was that? Here, Belinda, you're going to find the card. From where you are, just say your magic words, whatever they are. Say your magic words. Start now as I cast my hand over the deck. Houston. Houston it is, and it should be now your... Whatever card you said. Okay, and then Hyman, do you remember your card? Go ahead and say that loud for everybody. Eight of hearts. Eight of hearts, you're sure. Okay. I think eight of hearts is right here on the bottom. Eight of hearts. No, this is... This is eight of hearts in disguise. See, this is eight of hearts in disguise. I mean, all I have to do to get the disguise off is just wave. And it changes into the eight of hearts. That was, that was badass. <laughs> Thanks, you guys are badass. All right, and then I think we're on Jason now, right? Jason, you remember your card? Three of spades. Three of spades. I'm going to find this the most difficult way I know how. This is very rare and very beautiful, OK? This flourish. It's actually called a Brazilian waterfall. You know what? These cards can be broken in. This happens sometimes. It should be broken in now. All right, I'm sorry, three of spades, right? All right, this flourish is very rare, very beautiful. The Brazilian waterfall. Three of spades, okay. Only two left, these are the hardest by far. Miles, I'm gonna skip you. What was your card? That's a six of black clubs. Six of clubs? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What was your card? Okay, I'm a little confused with you because I don't think you could have picked the Six of Clubs. I swear. No, that's impossible because I keep Six of Clubs in my pocket, so I don't know how you could have picked that one. <laughs> we'll believe on this time, though. It's okay. We'll believe you. And then Miles, three diamonds, three right? Three diamonds. The hardest because it's the last. I'm going to have to take the deck and squeeze until only one card is left. Not just any Miles. For three of diamonds. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, give me, give me the name one more time. It's Malena. Malena, very beautiful. And then Dan, right? Yeah. Plain in comparison, but it's still cool. Yeah. Malena. It's actually, it's actually Daniela. Yes, please. Okay, kidding. <laughs> show it to uh, the camera, show it to Dan. And then just go and put it back for me. Okay. And now what I'm going to try to do is kind of guess what card you're thinking of just by... I'm gonna let you read my eyes, go ahead. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking of a blue card because your eyes are vivid, job, yeah. Um, but if I had to guess, since blue is closer to black, I would go with black card. Maybe. Okay, well, see people pick cards generally that kind of reflect them a little bit. Okay. So... Oh, what are you saying? I'm saying... Black soul inside. Not at all, just closer to blue, yeah. And then I'm also gonna go with... Not a low number, you don't seem like a low value person at all. You seem like a little higher. Maybe like a... Not six, seven, maybe an eight. I was say you wait for an answer. <laughs> is that your final? Is that your final answer? Yeah, I'm getting lucky here, I think. But uh, black eight spades. Oh, very good. Is that really it? Yes, it was. Awesome. All right, so I'm warmed up now. Okay. And then, um, what is your name? Hope. Hope. Hi, Hope. I'm Jeff. Nice to meet you. Where the hell are you warmed up? You need to come with us to the casino. 
Got lots of you. <laughs> Hope, have you ever picked a card from a magician before? No. Okay, this is gonna be your first time. Relax, don't be nervous. Go ahead and just reach in and pull out a card though. Anyone's fine, yeah. You can see they're all different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyone's fine. Whatever you think, Hope. It's got to be today, but that's oh, all right. Would it be better if it's face up? We gotta go. All right. Let me pull right quick, though. All right. I want to see if you can guess it. If I can guess it, yeah. we're not going to just guess it. We're going to do something better than that, I think. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, look at it. Show it to the camera. Show it to Dan and to um, Milena. Yeah, I'll and then, Dan, here. can you mix cards or you shuffle it all? I can try. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> try in the air. I told you. Pro. Try. All right, there you go. I'm good with I'm that. work for the casino. All right, I, I'm not going to guess the card this time. I don't know if I can really guess Hope. She's wearing the glasses and everything. What was the card? Six of hearts. Really? I have one idea to find it. Actually works. I can't believe it. We need to go. You see it? <laughs> we need to go. bring you with us to the casino. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Right, exactly. Dude. They don't let me yeah. in, but. I bet they don't. Thank you, Dan. No. That was pretty good. Pretty good. Was yeah. awesome. He guessed <laughs> it right off. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, I'm sorry. Give me the name one more time. Uh, my name is Alan, but Alan in the American way. Huh? Yeah, Alan. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Alan, uh, have you ever wanted to travel through time? Have I? Yeah, wanted to travel in time? Yes, true. Okay, well, you can actually do that, and uh, I do that with a deck of cards. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's actually one special card in the dank that I, I use to travel. So, do you have any idea which card that is? Uh, well, I'm ten. <laughs> Just, you know, out of all of them, it could be any of them. This one. Four diamonds? Yes, four diamonds. Sorry, it's not the four diamonds. Actually, it's the ace of spades. Uh -huh. I'll show you what we do with this time machine. Um, in fact, just say stop whenever you like. Stop. Right there? Okay. So we're going to use the king of diamonds. And all you have to remember is king of diamonds goes into the center. And that leaves the time machine on top, okay? That's all you got to know. King of diamonds in the center, time machine on top. Watch. We'll take the time machine and just go back five, ten seconds in a time. And that'll take us back to when the king was in the center. And the time machine was on top. Thank you. Maybe that was a little bit quick. Uh, we should try another one. In fact, I want you to pick a very special card. Just go and pull out any one you like. Should I show you? Um, it doesn't matter if I see it. Make sure you show it to the camera. And let's actually have you write your name on that card really big. Really, really big. Excellent. OK. Thank you, Ellen. And then don't put it back anywhere you like. Beautiful. All right, do you know how to snap your fingers like that? You know what that does? That, oh, that's too much, a little too much. <laughs> it should have brought your card to the top, but I think we snapped too many times. So I'll tell you what, just to kind of bring it back, all we have to do is just give it a rub, and it changes to your... Thank you. Maybe it was a little quick though, right? This time just one snap, right? We'll lose it in the center. Go ahead, just push it in. Push it in, yeah. Now snap. Go and check. There it is again, six of hearts. But that was, oh, ten of diamonds. So about that. Thank you. All right, so this time I'm going to let you see it go into the center, right? Face down. Snap your fingers. Actually, before you do that, go ahead and uh, hold out your hands flat. Um, here. Two of clubs, ten of spades, seven of spades. Your hands are full, so I'm gonna do the snapping. Watch out. Show the camera. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Brian, right? Yeah. Okay, Brian. I have here uh, two boxes before they're printed at the U.S. Playing Card Company. Yeah. Go ahead and check that out. Okay. Yep. 
Looks good, yeah, I mean. Th this is just what they're like before they're printed. But of course, if you wanted to print the box, I guess you'd have to snap. Boom, just like that. And all of a sudden, now we got a printed box. But of course, this is useless unless, of course, you have a deck of cards to go with it. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> That's what we call black magic. Is that right? That is. Okay. Here, let's try something else. I'll take that from you. Okay. So we have here a deck of cards. Yep. And I want you to pick a very special one, all right? So it's okay if I see it. Just go and pull one out. It's okay if you see it? Right there is perfect. And if you could actually just go ahead and write your name really big on that card. That's possible. How's it going, guys? Okay. You want to show the camera? Yeah, go ahead and show the camera. I'll take the Sharpie. Okay. And then it's going, yeah, put that back for me. Right there. Okay. And then I'm going to need some help from you guys. Is that cool? Uh, you, sir, what's, what's your name? Up, what was that? Efren. Efren. Nice to meet you. Here, come on. All right, Efren. What I'm going to do is uh, have you hold out your hands for me flat. I'm on a TV show right now. <laughs> and I'm going to give you the cards. And then, Brian, what I want you to do is go ahead and just lift up half the deck, if you can. Lift up half the deck? Yeah. Cut the deck? Uh-huh. All right, let's see if you're able to cut to your card, the ten of clubs. No, check the bottom of that one. No? No. Okay, I, I have an idea. Go and put that back on top. I have here a small matchbook. We're going to use this. To hopefully find your card, okay? So Brian, when's your birthday? Uh, August 28th. August 28th. TMI, too much information. No. <laughs> Just enough information. <laughs> All right. So that was your birthday candle right there. Oh, uh, cool, thanks. And I don't know if you had a chance to make a wish, did you? Uh, no, I didn't. I, I didn't. I got caught up in the moment of being on TV. Hi, Mom. Yeah. So in that case, we have to wish for your card. Okay. All right, so did you feel anything funny during that candle, no? All right, so I think it should have made your card what was that? Did you see that? It just yeah, popped open. It's it crazy. It's crazy. Go ahead and, what's that inside? It's more folded card. That's all right. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. You're the man. From uh, LA area. Oh, very nice. Yeah, yeah. How's it going, guys? Fabulous. I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Alexis. Nice to meet you, Alexis. Fausto. Fa Fausto? Fausto. Yes. Fausto. That's an awesome name. Nice to, yeah. nice to meet you. And uh, Hunter. Hunter. That's a cool name too. <laughs> All right. Can we get you young? <laughs> All right. Come on. Get in. Yeah, yeah. Group in a little bit. Yes, yes. Group in. Group in. Group in. Everybody. All right. So I'm going to show you two really interesting things. First, I'm going to show you sleight of hand, and then I'm going to try to show you sleight of foot. I know it's weird, right? But we're gonna try to do it. So we're gonna start over here. Give me that name one more time. Fausto. Fausto. I love that name. Go ahead and just pull out any card you like for me, brother. Show it to everybody you like. Show it to the camera. Put it back. Okay. So um, does anybody here know how to snap their fingers? I hope someone does. Yes. Alexis, that's perfect. Go for it. Go for it. You know what that does? No. That should actually make it so that Fausto's card will appear in my hand, just at my fingertips. Okay. All right. So at this point, I know two things. I know number one, his card isn't on top, the three of diamonds. And I know it's not in the bottom, the eight of clubs. All right. So, need your snap? Oh. That would be funny if it was the king of diamonds. I don't know if you really picked that one or not. That was amazing. Here, we'll try. That was fantastic. Oh, man. I don't know if we can get that. We need more cards in this deck. Here. Try one more time. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're all king of diamonds. I think they're tricking. <laughs> uh, I wish that was easy. Uh, Yo, that thing I'm doing it the hard way. <laughs> I think zinged out. That, uh, that, that's honestly sleight of hands. Uh -huh. But I told you I was going to show you something else, right? Do you remember? The foot thing, yeah. The foot thing, all right. <laughs> hey, take it easy. Hunter, all right. I love your enthusiasm. Pull out a card. Show it to everyone. Show it to the camera. Let me know when everybody's seen it. All right. And then just go ahead and just put it back for me. We'll lose it in the deck. And then. Like I said, side of foot. So go ahead and just tell me, what was the card? I need to know. Three of clubs. Five of clubs. You almost got me, Fausto. <laughs> Five of clubs. I'll see what I can do. 
There it is. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Fausto. That was freaking amazing. Uh, I, I, I am shipping balls. I saw him <laughs> kick the card. <laughs> We got the guys here, all right? I want to meet all of you, so uh, we'll start over here. What's your name, bro? Mitch. Mitch, nice to meet you. And how are your instincts? I don't know, okay. You're going to be perfect for this. Perfect. All right. Actually, you got something in your hand, isn't it? Can you hand that to one of your friends? Take that. Yeah, and then Mitch, I'm going to just run through the cards. to Call it stop anytime you like, all right? Stop. Do you want to go further, or is this good? All right, go ahead and take this card. Do not look at it. It's the one thing you can't do, all right? Okay. In fact, just put it in your pocket, and that way no one gets to see it. All right, so Mitch now has a card that nobody got to see. I'm going to pick one same way, and I won't look at mine either, all right? The rest of the cards can go away. So now it's just me and Mitch and our instincts. So I want you to go ahead and just guess what card you might have. It could be any one you think. <laughs> Keep your hand on the card. It's going to help you. Yeah. read it. I don't know. Go. That's a pretty good guess. Do you want to change your mind for any reason? There's no, no problem. You're no, positive. I'm sticking with. I'm sticking. Okay. I'm sticking. If I was gonna guess, Mitch, I would have gone with seven of clubs, but it's one in fifty-two, right? I suppose. If either of us even close, that's that's not bad, is it right? Yeah. All right, let's go in. Let's pull it out. See how you did. Wait, <laughs> you got seven of clubs? I got. Oh, <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's just insane. We're gonna buy lottery oh tickets. He said Jack. Oh, as soon as you picked it. I knew it. Awesome. Oh my god. He said Jack and Clubs. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. That was nuts. That was, that was, like they picked each other's cards. That was crazy. That was awesome. But I'm gonna ask you, sir, what's your name? George. George, go ahead and shuffle these real quick. Uh, okay, we'll give this to you. You'll think you can shuffle. <laughs> It's not too bad. Oh, what was your name, sir? Angel. Angel, okay. Chopper. Guzman. Chopper? Who's it? Guzman. Again, too many names, but we'll just uh, move on over to you, sir. What's your name? Just call him Bill. Bill? <laughs> All right. We got Bill, and what's your name? George. George, go and pull any card you like for me, George. Anyone's fine. And then take the Sharpie for me and write your name really big on that card. Really, really big. I'm going to be sharing with you what's uh, basically pickpocketing. It is pickpocketing, but for entertainment. I'm not going to take anything valuable, all right? In fact, what's your name, sir? Jason. Jason. I'm going to give you the card box. Go ahead and check that out. Make sure there's nothing inside, nothing special about it. It's what it appears to be. Check it out, okay? Yeah, it looks great. All right. And then we still have that card. We're going to lots of people to sign it. That's good. Oh, actually, keep holding that. Keep holding that. All right. And then, oh, I'll take that. Okay. Show it to the camera. It's good. All right, and just give these one more mix for me, real quick. Very fancy. Muy bien. Okay, and then uh, Jason, right? Yeah. And the box looked okay. Came out right. Okay. So let's see. What's your name, brother? Juan. Juan. Okay, Juan. I need you to use your uh, front pocket, okay? You got one right here on your shirt. Is it open? No. Wanna check that out? Seal. I told you I was gonna use a little pickpocketing to find your card that was signed. All right. So I'm gonna do this as quick as I can. Watch. All right. I got one card signed by George. <laughs> Go ahead and take out the cards. Take out the cards. Make sure they're still sealed. <laughs> Everything looks good? Excellent. Uh, Rabbit. <laughs> <Rabbit out> <laughs> Here, um, let's actually do one more. You know what? We'll use the same card. And uh, Jason, you go ahead and take that for me. And you can see the two signatures on there, right? Correct. If you saw them again, would you recognize them? Sure. Okay. So here's what we want to do. We want to watch close. Now my first name is Jeff. My last name is what? Black. It's black. So that means, of course, that I'm going to use black magic to make your signed card travel through my body. Sorry. 
Jason, you're our official signature checker. Is that the same signature? <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. You're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> So we're sitting here with Bizarro, the optical illusionist. That's an interesting name. Why does that apply for you? Uh, when I started doing magic uh, more professionally when I was around 15, I used to do a multiplying eyeballs act. Mm -hmm. I had this whole routine where I'd multiply eyeballs and then it'd just get bigger and bigger until I produced a girl with a big eyeball for a head. <laughs> Don't know that, I did it. <laughs> the residents didn't sue me, it was awesome. And I, as a joke, I was like, ooh, I'm an optical illusionist. And I'm like, oh, that's actually a pretty good title, so I kept it, and it's, I've had it ever since. It's pretty clever, yeah, I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's, uh, it, when I was very young, it's when the name Bizarro and all this came together, so it's, I felt very fortunate that I discovered that early, because some people, it takes a while, and I was like, well, at least I got the name. Uh, You're going to have a large selection. Alright, all right, I want you just to think of one in your minds. Alright. You already got one? I got it, I got it. Already? <laughs> okay. Now, uh, now, we don't know what it is, so go ahead and say it out loud for everybody. I don't care. I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, I, I say it. Ace of spades. Is that one that you saw, or you just no, thought of no, this? Okay, it's just, it's just a random one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, I'll show you what. I have here not one, but two kings. Watch. I see that flip. Yeah. Oh. See these two kings right here. Yeah, I see you. All right, we're gonna use these to find the card that you just thought of, Dalton. Okay. Right. Say the card one more time for me. Ace of spades. Is there anything in between these cards? No. No. Watch. Ace of spades. Thank you. The card you just thought of. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. This time, uh, what's your name right here? Jeff. Jeff. You got the same name as me, the Jeff Connection. Nice. Oh, Jeff Connection. That's how we do. All right, Jeff, I want you to think of a card, OK? I'm going to show you all the cards. Two of diamonds. <laughs> Make it a random one. It could be two diamonds. It could be a totally random one. Hey, got a face. Got you already a face. got one? Yeah. Two, okay. Two diamonds. Remember it. Two diamonds. Zero. All right. Now, Dalton, the thing about the two diamonds is that I keep it. You didn't? No. I was going to get the two diamonds just because he kept naming it. Oh. Yeah. Just because he kept naming it. Uh, what was your card, though, Jeff? Two fucking clovers. No way, really? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Not, not two of spades? No. I see. All right, well, I, I'll tell you what. Oh, like for real, though. Oh, that would have been good. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to find the card you are, okay? So I'm going to give you the deck. You have an empty pocket? Nah. One pocket. I got one, I got one. I got one. All right, all right. Dalton is going to find your card for you, okay? You take the cards. What do you want? Put them in your pocket. Put them in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the whole deck in your pocket. Oh, but keep it. It's all Jeff. All right. It's all Jeff. All right. So, Dalton, pull your hand out. I want you to be very fair about this, okay? I want you to reach your pocket now, pull out a card. Go, go. Quick. Let's go with your instincts. Go, go, go. You got one? Yeah, I got one. As long as it's a two of clubs, it's good. How'd you do? I got five of hearts. Five of hearts? All right, try again. Go, 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 quick, 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 quick. You just got to pull out the two of clubs and you're good. Did you get it? You almost had it. Four of clubs. All right, all right. Maybe we're going to go through the whole day. No, 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 no. Here, I'm going to see if I can get it, all right? Very fair. You ready? I know. Hey. Well, I know we're not the, that good of friends yet, but we're going to give it a try, all right? You ready? All right. Uh, deeper. No, no all right. deeper. I got one. Deeper. I got one. All right. You thought of what card again? Two was close. Two. Oh, wow. Go ahead and pull those cards out. You blew my mind. Oh, very nice. This is actually real. You really trust me. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If either of you had real magic and a one dollar bill, what would you do with your magic? Change it into a five hundred dollar bill. Do they make those? <laughs> I don't know. Do they? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> I'm not familiar with five hundred dollar bills. <laughs> Any other options? Uh, Alex. No. Change into a diamond. You, you multiply it, right? right? Yeah, that's the thing. I'll use black magic. To multiply. Get out of here! <laughs> yeah, I, got, I got a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say your full paper all day, huh? All right, man. 
Very impressive. No, he's going to change it. Was right? that yours? <laughs> no, mine was a dollar. <laughs> that's not my name. You want to check that out? Make sure that's real. You, you can do that. Maybe the light test, the marker test. Whichever one you think is best. No, it's pretty real. Checks out? Yeah. Cool. And if you want, we could actually trade back. That wouldn't be a problem with me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to trade? Yeah. All right. I'll take that. Oh, thank you. All right. Oh, sorry about that. That's cool. I got it. I got it. There we go. Uh, <laughs> All right, Giles. Thank, thank you, very you very much for friends. Yeah, appreciate it, Jeff. The eyes are the windows to the soul. I'm going to show you why they don't let me play cards in the casino. <laughs> Make sure I got them all. Okay. So, you can see all the faces are different. Yep. All the backs are the same. And what I want, um, Rich, I'm going to use you for this. I'm going to have you look at these cards. Yep. I want you just to think of one. Yeah. You got one? Okay. So what I want you to do is I'm not going to find the card. You are, okay? Yep. You think you're up to the challenge? Cool. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll go ahead and just for, uh, Allison, what card were you thinking of? Uh, the Ace of Diamonds. The, the Ace of Diamonds. All right. And then do you think you can uh, have an empty pocket? Do you have any empty pockets? Yep. Here, go and take the deck. Put that in your pocket. And then take, take your hand out. I want this to be very clean, very fair. All right. I want you to reach to your pocket and pull out the Ace of Diamonds. Any cards on Quick, quick, quick. Go, go, go. Any card. Go, 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 go. As long as it's Ace of Diamonds, it's fine. All right, Seven of Diamonds, close. Um, but I mean, who really expected you to find it? We'll give it another try. Go quick, 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 quick. Rich. That's amazing. You don't have to tell me how you did that, man. Whoa. Huh. That's so weird. Hey, let's try. Let's try another one. Um, Allison. I'll just put that there for now. Allison, go ahead and touch a card for me, just touch one. Like that? Okay. We'll use the, the five of spades. And I don't know if either of you have a pen convenient. If not, that's fine. Okay, so just have to remember that's the five of spades, and there's no more like that in the deck. So, did I tell you my name, by the way? Yeah. Do you remember, that's my last name? It, it's Black. Okay, so I'm gonna use Black Magic to find your card. In fact, I'm gonna take the, what was it? Five of spades. And I'm gonna actually make it go into the center. And then I'm going to have it go through my body using black magic. <laughs> Five of spades. Well, street performing is a very ancient art. I am, I'm a big fan of street performing. I think it's the most honest kind of performing because basically a performer is out there working for money. He's, he's asking for tips from the crowd. But the crowd gets to see the show first. So if they don't like the show or they don't think it's worth any money, they don't give them any. If they like the show but don't have any money, they get a free show. And if they have some money and they like the show, then they give him what they think it was worth. Now, how does it get any more fair than that? You had to be charming. You had to be able to get a crowd together. People had to like you and they had to want to give you money. And they had to, you, had, you had to have the ability to enlist the audience in your cause to get them to want to get everybody else to give you money too. When you do that, then you're a great performer. I think Jeff has more of that kind of ability. He gets people to like them and he entertains them and draws them in and, and creates a fun situation. That's where the you know, medicine show was where you had entertainment and got people in a good mood and then you sold them a product. It's where radio came from. It's where television came from. So uh, Luke, just say stop for me whenever you like to. It's gotta be today, but that's all right. Stop. All right, try to memorize that. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, Anton, same for you. Stop. Right there. Memorize that. Yeah. Okay. And now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna find your cards, but who should I find first? Luke. Okay. If I snap my fingers, one card jumps to the top. I didn't say it'd be yours, but it does jump to the top. What was your card? Should I tell you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. There it goes. I'm sorry, was that yours? Huh. Okay. We'll do this the hard way. Queen of Spades, that was yours. All right, that's very close to the one that you picked, right? Hold that. Okay. So we're going to use Queen of Spades to find your Queen of Diamonds. So, um, do you know how to snap your fingers? Yeah. Okay, you're going to be perfect for this. Go ahead and just give it a snap, yeah. Now we have two cards here, not just any two. 
Oh, you guys are awesome. Here, let's try this again, right? We'll try something a little more complicated. This time I'm gonna have ants on. You don't have to touch anything. Just, uh, I'm gonna show you double the cards. Just think of one for me. You got one? Now, I'm suspecting that you picked a, a card in your mind that you did not see. Is that right? Oh, you did see it. A red card. Black. I see. Uh, I don't know. What was it? Go ahead and just whatever. Uh, I have a spade. Really? Here, you take the cards. Um, and then say the, the name of the one that you thought of. I have a spade. I don't want to touch it. Snap your fingers. This is going to be something that you remember the rest of your lives. Luke, go ahead and flip over the top card. So, Bizarro, uh, I don't do a ton of stuff um, sitting down like this. No, like, yeah, it's hard. Right, we are doing it extremely. It's like very eh, cramped. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to see if we can do something kind of fun, though. Um, in fact, you notice with the cards, right, mm -hmm. that they can be manipulated almost just like water to look like a liquid. Um, so, we can take advantage of this for a magic trick. Sure. For example, we'll use the Eight of Hearts. And if we have the Eight of Hearts, in a way, swim to the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. And then we take the next card, the five of clubs. Hey, that's well, name on, hey that card looks familiar. Yeah, we're not going to use that oh, one. Okay. Sorry about uh, that. Yeah, we want to use the more random one. I like the tennis space. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a, that's a trick in itself right there. I vanished. Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> Go ahead. All right, so we'll take the tennis space. If we just give it a flick right here at this corner, it'll turn to the eight of hearts, which means, of course, that the tennis space has now swum all the way to the bottom. Oh, look at that. So it's kind of a fun one. Um, and I would have done it with your name, but... That's yeah, all right. I don't know if you can swim, you know. <laughs> hey, fat floats, all right? It's okay. <laughs> just go and just put it anywhere in the deck. Right there? All right. Do you know how to snap your fingers? That doesn't do anything. Well, it does a little bit. It brings the three of clubs to the bottom. That's your card in disguise. All right, so to get the disguise off, you just have to, you know, kind of shake them off a little bit, just like that, and it looks just like the three turns into the 10. That was cool. <laughs> that was cool. You guys are cool. Right on. So I'm sorry, give me the names one more time. Nikki. Nikki and James. James. Okay. Pleasure to meet you guys. Jeff, right? That's correct. Yeah, cool. And do you two have a good connection? Yeah, I think I so. Would say so. Okay, you're gonna be perfect for this. You know what? I have the perfect thing for you guys. See all the cards are different? Mm -hmm. And who has the best instincts out of the two of you? I think you do. Okay. James? Okay. <laughs> So, Nikki, I'll run my fingers with the cards. Just okay. say stop whenever you like. Stop. Can you remember that? Mm -hmm. All right, don't forget it. Okay. And did you get to see the card, James? Did I? Yeah. No, I didn't see the card. Okay, I'll tell you what. I will show you all of the cards. And they're all different, right? I'll run my finger over them. Whenever you have your first instinct, just say stop, okay? Okay. So, whenever you feel it. You know, these are too confusing to look at. So, look into Nikki's eyes if she thinks about her card. I'll start now, whenever you feel it. <laughs> look into my eyes. Stop. Right there? I'll lower my finger exactly where you stopped me at. Have I moved my fingers since he said stop? No. No. Go ahead and pull it out, but don't show it just yet. Nikki, you're thinking of a card. Is it red or black? The card that, that I saw? Yeah. It, it's black. It's black? Okay. Yeah. Very nice. And was it a club or a spade? Do you remember? It was a club. All right, you can get your hopes up. Looks like you already are. <laughs> what was the card that you got? A three of clubs. How'd you do, James? Oh, nice. It's a perfect Bravo. connection. Wow. <laughs> I like that. Are you going to tell us how you did that? Or something else. In fact, I was pretty impressed the way that you found that card. So, do the of you play cards? He does. 
Okay. A little bit. So you're the one that's going to give those a quick mix for me. Give them a shuffle if you can. By the way, James, that was very nice. Uh, would you prefer to use those or bicycle? Does it matter to you? It doesn't matter to me. Okay. Cards are um, cards, right? That's true. All right. Well, go ahead and just touch one for me. Touch one. You got it? Okay. Yep. I'm not going to be finding this card. You are. Okay. You found the last one. Actually, James found the last yeah. one, but you're going to find this one. So hold out your hands flat like a table. We're going to lose that card in the center right here. And then, James, would you wave your hand over the cards? Do you feel anything? Yeah. What did you feel? Hmm. No. Something. Okay. <laughs> well, do you believe that you can find the card? Do I believe that I yeah. can find the card? No. I need you to believe. Okay, I believe. I believe that I can find the card. That's all I need to hear. <laughs> Alright, just keep believing. I see something begin to happen. What, what do you see, James? <laughs> That's crazy. That's weird! Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> I don't even want to touch the cards now. I don't either. Take them out of my hand quick. No. <laughs> that awesome. That's awesome. So that's how you got so good. You got a lot of time to work on it. Well, I'm going to show you guys something kind of cool here. I don't know if you've ever seen this. It's actually a perfect shuffle. If you live in Vegas, maybe you have some name items. There it is. Every card interlaced one for one all the way through. Have you seen that? No. Okay. Just something kind of cool that I've worked on. I know that you guys have many skills that you worked on. What is the hardest one if you don't mind me asking? Or what was the hardest for you to learn? Uh, the shakers at the end. You know, the salt shakers and you, you juggle and all that stuff. It's, that's the hardest. Sure. It takes the longest time. I saw Jose doing some stuff like throwing it, like catching it behind his back and stuff. <laughs> Really cool. All right, so do you, do you have a favorite card? No. Do you have a favorite card? No. All right, well, uh, just maybe think of random ones then or something. Okay. You got one already? That was quick. All right, do you have one? Was it? No. One of the A, A, the B one. Space? Mm -hmm. That's the most commonly named card. All right. Ace of Spades, is there yeah. Yeah, that's the most commonly named card. Is that the one you were thinking of? Ace of Hearts. Ace of Hearts was yours. Okay. Oh, uh, wow, that was actually more, uh, more random for sure. Okay, well, we're going to see how good your instincts really are, okay? okay. So we're going to have you try to cut uh, the card that you uh, thought of, I guess. Sound good, Ryan? Okay. All right, and then Jose will test your instincts as well. Mm -hmm. Sound good? We'll test your instincts. Totally mix. You know what we're going to have you do? We're going to have you cut the cards, and you're going to cut right to the card that you thought of, both of you. So, let's we'll start with you. Um, do you know how to cut the cards? That would be an example. Yeah. Go ahead and complete the cut. Uh, just from wherever? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. We'll put the cards all together. Have you played cards? All right. A little bit. So... These are brand new, so they're kind of slippery. All right, give them, give them a cut. Cut? Huh? Yeah, give them a cut. And... Jose, I'm going to see if you can find Ryan's card. Go ahead and give the cards another cut. You know what? I'll give him one for good luck. And now, you go and give him a cut. Cut it one more time. Yeah. Let's see how you did. You cut to the three of hearts. Not bad at all. We got the two of clubs on the bottom. Um, if you subtract them, you get the ace of hearts, I guess, right? Uh, let's go and see, Ryan, let's see how you do. Okay, we got ace of clubs. Maybe a little closer, four diamonds. Hmm. Let's see. If you look, we got Ace of Diamonds. I'm not seeing an Ace of Hearts in this deck. No, you're not. You got some Ace there of Hearts? There is no Ace of Hearts. I think there's a reason for that, though. That's because, Jose, you're actually sitting on the Ace of Hearts. Go ahead, Jack. Stand up. 
No way. What? Go ahead, pick it up, show the camera. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you named a card too, didn't you? Know, was it? What was one of the two names? What's that? What was that? Ace of Spades. Ah, uh, the Ace of Spades. Yeah. yeah. So look back, you'll notice that the Ace of Spades is also left the pack. We have Ace of Clubs, no Ace of Spades. It's because, um, Jose? That's me? Yeah. Everything's you. I think uh, you're sitting on the Ace of Spades. Stand <laughs> 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 out, man. Show the camera. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Was that a very intuitive like, uh, guy? Up, up close and personal, that's actually fantastic. I mean, that, you know, the, the three tricks that I saw was just, I couldn't even call it. I don't know what to say about it either. So that's just fantastic. You did a great job. Here, let's have um, Jessica. Go ahead and say stop for me whenever you like, okay? Okay, stop. Right there? All right, go ahead and just take that card. Show it to yourself, show it to your friend, show it to the camera. Okay. All right, and then, I'm sorry, Kayla, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's your birthday? Yeah. Go ahead and hold this for me. And what I want you to do, um, tell me the name one more time. Jessica. Jessica. All right, Jessica, say stop whenever you like. Stop. Right there? Take the card. We're going to lose it into the deck. And like I said, I'm not going to find it. You are, so. Go ahead. Hold out your hand for me. Squeeze really tight. There you go, like a lobster claw. There you go. And then I want you to just kind of start to breathe with me. Relax. Bring your drink down. Just relax. Keep relaxing. You can start to feel the muscles in your legs you know, get more relaxed, and then it starts to move up your legs into your abdomen. You feel your abdomen relaxing, your shoulders begin to relax, moving down your arm, into your fingers, into your hands. Just fully relax and concentrate on, what was your card, Jessica? All right, just loosen up all around, and we'll see how you do. <laughs> Kayla, was that birthday magic? That was pretty cool. Baby. <laughs> you guys want to see something else cool? Yeah. Some will use a, a money trick. Okay. All right. And for this, I use two dollars because, of course, you know it's a big town. We got to do it real big with two dollar bills. But sometimes, if I want to leave a tip, I don't want to tip a two because they're pretty rare, you know. What I like to do is use a little bit of black magic. This makes a much better tip, you know? You know what it is? <laughs> Check that out, Kayla, is that real? Yeah. Feels good? Jessica, is that real? Yeah, that's real. Yeah, but the cheese are All right. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can do this. Just to save space. Save space. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate it. Cool, if we could just get, uh, Tony, why don't you just go ahead and name any card in the deck? Uh, Club of Nines. Oh, I'm sorry, did, did you guys hear that? 
Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, do you have good instincts, good intuition? Sure. Oh, you're gonna be perfect for this. All right, I want you to go ahead and uh, take these cards. And do you have a favorite number? Four. Four is your favorite number? Yep. Okay. Go ahead and look at the bottom card. <laughs> hmm. That's what I said. Uh, do you have a second favorite card? Uh, Actually, we'll, we'll use Nicole. Do you have a second favorite card? Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts is your favorite, isn't it? Yeah, I yeah. said second favorite, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Okay, so I hope I can get Queen of Hearts. Um, you can see the deck is just totally mixed up. Mm -hmm. But if we um, use your number, four, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, one more time, give me your name. Kurt. Kurt, hold out your hand for me. And then Tanya, count down four cards from the top into Kurt's hand. One, two, three, four. What was your card, Nicole? Queen of Hearts. And your number? Four. No way. Wow, nice. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. You're going to have to tell me how you do that. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> I wish I was that good. Here, let's see if we can do an even better one. Hey, hey guys, how's it going? How's it going? Great. Fantastic. Oh, it's perfect. Well, I got to know, I mean, we're out here in the wilderness, and do you guys ever connect with nature? Sometimes. All the time. You go bit. hiking. All the time, right here. All this guy time. right here. Armand, is that right? Yeah. All right. Because you connect with nature, that tells me you're kind of in, in touch with, you know, your in, uh, intuition. Human nature. Yeah. Human nature, intuition, yeah. I want to kind of put this to the test. Do you say you have good intuition, good instincts? Oh, yeah. The best. You're going to be perfect for this. Yeah. Okay. The best. I like this. So, we have a deck of cards here. You see they're all different. We're each going to pick a card, okay? Yeah. So, we'll start with you. If you want, you can actually see which one you pick, or you can just take out a random one. Whatever you prefer. This right. one, right? Yeah, yeah. Look at it. Show it to all the homies here. Show it to the camera. Homies? Yeah. <laughs> homies. <laughs> it's good? Yeah. Okay. And then go ahead and just put it back for me. You sure, right there? Yeah. Okay, I respect that. And then I'm going to actually do the exact same thing, right? I'm going to pick a card. I'm not going to look at my. Oh, I, I won't look at mine. But uh, I'm not going to show anybody, okay? And then we're just going to try to find each other's cards. Sound good? Okay. okay. So, let's see. Um, all right, so I, I have a card as well. You know what? Here. Mix up the cards. And now, Armin, I just want you to kind of clear your mind for a second. Count backwards from 10 in your mind. This is going to put you in a meditative state. You done? Don't calculate. Just go through and find the card you think I chose. Okay. Just go through it, look through the deck. Just use your instincts, whatever you feel. <laughs> Not even looking, this is nice. Yeah, your mind doesn't, doesn't look your very intuition. Okay, don't look at it. Just okay. go and pull it all the way out. And then I'm gonna look through, I'm gonna find a card as well. And then I hope this don't one's gonna be yours. Look at it. It doesn't matter. Okay, um, okay I think I got one. All right, so let's go ahead and trade now. So before we look at our cards, go ahead and say out loud for the first time the card that you picked. First time or the second? The first time you've ever said it. Go ahead and say it out loud. The one uh, you picked. Ten of spades. The card you picked was the ten of spades. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, see how you did. Ten of spades. And oh, the card that I picked was the eight of clubs. Armin, your instincts are amazing, dude. <laughs> wow. I don't get it. They that's crazy. I know, that's insane though. Like, well, I think Jeff is going to go very far. He's got a very uh, uh, good set of chops. He, he has great sleight of hand skills and, and, and does uh, a lot of very fancy, uh, uh, subtle sleight of hand, as well as, as, as being a very excellent personality and, and a friendly, likable character. I think he, he's very clever and hard working. All right, um, Randy and Liz, right? Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna warm up real quick. Sorry, these cards are brand new, so you gotta break them in, you know how it is. What do you guys do for fun? So let's go to Vegas. <laughs> work? <laughs> yeah. Where are you working, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I work at a buffet and I don't know. Nice. Nice, doing a hospital. That's great. 
Uh, nurse, doctor? Nurse. <laughs> yeah, wishful thinking. <laughs> One day you'll get there, Liz, don't worry. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. Um, we'll do one with maybe the both of you. Go ahead and pull out a card for me, Randy. Go ahead, Liz, you know what to do. And because the magician never gets to pick a card, I'm going to do the same thing. Mine doesn't matter, though, so four spades, whatever. So let's go ahead and have put your card back, Liz. Should I flip it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Show us okay. the camera if you can. <laughs> and me. Good. All right. <laughs> All right, just one last chance to see it. And then go ahead and push your card in. And then make sure you put yours somewhere else. Beautiful. And now, whose card should I find first? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use my card to find yours, okay? okay? And if I do this right, the floor is going to land next to one card here. Tell me, what was the card that you picked? Six of hearts. I'm sorry, what was the card that you picked? Five of spades. I did find yours, but I said I was going to find yours first, but luckily there's another card next to the four. And that would be the six <laughs> of hearts. That's awesome. You guys are awesome. Uh, that was awesome. Was pretty cool. <laughs> I've never seen anything. I have no idea how that just happened. All right, Chris, we have here a deck of cards. You can see they're all different. What I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you think of one. But to give you some more options, I'm going to show you double the cards, all right? And I can think of any card? Think of any one you like. Okay. You got one? Yes, I do. Okay. Now, Chris, I'm not going to find the card you want. So go, go and just say aloud. What was? Seven or diamonds. Really? Okay. Uh, I'm going to actually give the cards to you. Okay. Um, it, and I want you to put the deck in your pocket if you can. The whole deck? Yeah, the whole deck in your pocket. And now, uh, get it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then uh, take your hands. Uh, your other one? And just reach in and just pull out a card. Go, 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 quick, quick, just pull out a card, card, pull out a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as this is a seven of diamonds, it's good. Any card. I got two. How'd you do? How'd you do that? Show it to the camera. I was going to ask you the same question. How'd you do that? That's black magic. Wow, dude. No, that was okay, bro. That was pretty cool. Wow. Thank you. How did... And they're... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> we'll be this, Jesse. Jesse, go ahead and just name any card in the deck you like. Ace of Spades. That's a very common guess. Do you want to change your mind? Uh, Queen of Hearts. That's a yes, common? then. Uh, <laughs> that's actually just as common, yeah. Uh, we'll go to Five of Diamonds. Really obscure, okay. What I'm going to try to do then is actually memorize the deck, and um, then I'm going to try to cut to your card, okay? Does that sound good? And if I need help, you're going to help me. But I got this. So what was the card again? Five diamonds. Five, five diamonds. All right, I think I saw it in there. I don't know if you did. Do we have all the cards? Do we have five of them? Oh, okay. You saw it? Okay. Here, um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to try to cut to it. I think she right about... Sorry, that was a little bit off. I'll try that again. Do you think you can help me find it? Maybe. Just say stop whenever you want, all right? Okay, uh, you got three of spades. Not bad, not bad at all. But I'll give you a little help, okay? Watch the three. Just a wave, and it changes into the five of diamonds. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, actually, if you give another wave, you get all the fives. Especially wow. your five of diamonds. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, that was a little bit quick, though. That was kind of like all at once. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, we're going to try that again, except we'll find them one at a time. So... <laughs> you 
Can I see the fives in four different places? No. All right. Go ahead and tell me your favorite five. Diamonds, clubs, hearts, or spades? Hearts. You want to change your mind? Okay. Then, uh, hold out your hand for me, Flax. The five of hearts is here, right now. Can you see it? Can you feel it? Can you play along? Yeah. That's the spirit. Yeah, I feel it. That's all I'm here. <laughs> I'm feeling it. All right. Five of hearts. There we are. Wow. <laughs> put, put the other hand on top. That? Yeah. That? Perfect. That's just like that. And now the second five doesn't come from the imagination. It actually comes from the pocket. Did you see me put it in there? No. The five of diamonds. <laughs> just slip that in. <laughs> now the third one. This one's difficult. I have to take the deck and squeeze. Until <clears throat> so only one card is left. Five of space. Try to slide that in there. And the last one, even more difficult. Take it out of my sleeve. And make it go through my body, into the ground, into your body. Can it go through your body? I want to see it. Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Did you feel it land yeah, in your felt, hands? Felt it. Yeah. With the other fives. Go ahead and spread them. Huge, huge. Show the camera. Oh man. Fives, baby. <laughs> Uh, Brent, why don't you just go ahead and name any card in the deck? Doesn't matter to me. We got a two of clubs. Two of clubs, all right. Oh, right there near the bottom. So, what I'm gonna try to do here is actually memorize the cards. Well, that's kind of hard. Yeah, it is very difficult. But I'm gonna memorize them and then I'm gonna try to cut right to all the twos. So, uh, all right, I think I got them. Hold on your head for me, Brent. Two Whoa, what? It's crazy, baby. Whoa. All right. Bam. 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 Right. Bam. I think I got it, Brent. Two of clubs shoot right about there. Uh huh. Okay, let's try that again. I want to see the rest of them. Come on. All right, I think I got the next one right here to the space. I like that. And I got the rest right over here. I like that. Thank you. Right. Uh, pleasure. You guys are kind. You guys want to see someone else you can do with these? What, what, show me what else you can do with those. All right, well, as quickly as you can make them appear. You can show us a lot. <laughs> as quickly as you make them appear, we can actually make them disappear. How fast? Uh, one at a time. Let's, so let's do it then. We'll start with uh, Dylan. Why don't you go and snap your fingers for me on three? One, two, three. And now we only have three twos, of course. So that was a little quick. Let's try that again. Uh, what's your name, man? Justin. Justin. You snap your fingers on three. One, two, tricks. Beautifully done, Justin. I saw, I saw that. that. I saw that. You saw that? I was watching. I Pretty saw amazing, that. right? Yeah. All right, Brent. Go to name one of the twos. Well, let me get the two of diamonds. Okay. Watch two diamonds right here. That's where the magic happens, right here. God damn. <laughs> Try not to take him into this, but that's all right. We got one and two left. And this one, there's no counting involved, nothing like that. All you gotta do is just wave goodbye. Just wave goodbye. Oh, wave goodbye back. Is it oh my ears? <laughs> wait up, guys. Wait up, wait up. I'm coming back. Wait, we can get him back. We can get him back. Get just back. Get say the magic words, Black Magic. Black Magic, bring it back. back. That's all it takes. And we get the one, Bam. two, three, four twos. I like that. Thank you. I like that. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes, let's do Ace of Spades. I really don't want to do Ace of Spades. Why do you want to do Ace of Spades? It's just, you know, it's the most commonly named card. I know it is. I know it is. It's That's why I got no. 2400 on my SAT. <laughs> so you tell me, why don't you want to do Ace of Spades? It's difficult, dude. You're, you're an intelligent human being. I, I you got the balls the to come out here on the, on the street and do Ace of Spades. Let's do Ace of Spades. The problem is I don't keep in the deck, Daniel. See, I keep Ace of Spades in my pocket. Why would you so do that? That means there's not 56 cards. 56 is only 52, Daniel. <laughs> but why is it in your, why is it in your pocket? Because it's the most commonly named card. I thought you might say that before you even said it, so... 
had to keep it in my pocket. You know how it is. Alright, got the booster real quick. Got $2,400 on my magic exam. Let's boost it up. On the what exam? The magic exam. Alright. Get in the Hogwarts. I like that, I like that. Okay. Alright. So, you put it. Alright, it's in the deck, and I'll tell you what. Why don't you shuffle a little bit more? I'll shuffle some more? Okay. Do you uh, have any special handshakes to do with your friends? A couple. A couple, all right. I'm yeah. going to teach you one that's going to help us find your cards. That sound all right. good? All right. So what are you going for? All right, so at this point, I know two things. Your card isn't on top. I know it's not on the bottom. All right, interesting. All right, go ahead. We're going to start the handshake, all right? You ready? How does it go? Take our hands. Let's see it. I just saw your hand move. What'd you do? We're not doing anything, dude. Show me the top card. All right, we just did it. Show me the top card. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. All right, go ahead. Show me the handshake. All right. Yes. Mind if I flip it over? All right. Now you gotta go out. We're gonna do a high five. You ready? <laughs> ready high five. Over here. All right. It's gonna happen on three. And on three, I'm gonna hold your hand after the high five. You ready? Understood. Okay. I'm gonna set extra trash cans. So let's back up one sec. All right. Let's back up. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> There's now one card in between our hands. Correct. One that you named the what? I said the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. And I tried to get this guy very well, but you know what? I have the humility to admit that this guy is a very intelligent human being. I respect that. You take care. Beautiful. How long are you here for? Uh, till tomorrow. So tomorrow. Been here since Thursday. That's great. Are you having fun? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Excellent. Glad to hear it. Well, I know you guys are world travelers, I guess. So, I have some unique coins that I kind of collected from around the world. Okay. Let's see what I got. Um, hold out your hand for me. I have an American half dollar. I have a brass coin from China and uh, Mexican centavo. So we're gonna have kind of an observation test. I don't know how on the ball you guys are, but if I take out the half dollar. Which coins are left in my hands? The other two? The Chinese and the... Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Let's try that again. Okay. This time, if I take out the Chinese and the Centavo, which coin is left in my hands? Uh, half dollar. I'm oh, sorry, this is an observation test. We're going to try that again. It's going quick. <laughs> All right. Um, here, this time, watch close. We're going to take, I guess, decisions, decisions. We'll take the half dollar, right? And then, uh, which coin is left in my left hand? Uh, the Chinese and the other one. This is too weird, yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, this time, let's see. I'll tell you what. I'm going to show you how this trick is done. See, I keep actually extra coins in my pocket. And you, you can do this with extra coins. And um, the thing I don't understand, though, about this, that's how I get the half dollar Whoa. back in my hand. Go and check him out. I don't show this to many magicians, but... Okay. I won't tell anybody. Your secret is safe with me. No, there's no really... secrets that you oh, share. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Well, but I'm going to have you just go ahead and say stop whenever you want. Okay. That'll be your card. In fact, it's going to be interesting because you don't get to look at the card. Okay. This is... <laughs> well, heck, I'm just going to have to trust you. Then. Yeah, it's pure intuition, but you have magician's intuition, so... Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, well, we'll see. Go ahead and say stop for a minute. Stop. Do you want to go further, or is this good? I know, that's fine. Pause it? Yeah. Alright, you could have changed your mind, but take this one. Don't look at it. If you have a pocket, you can put it in. Uh, put it in the Should I put it? I'll put it in my pocket next to the blue. I don't want someone to think I have a chance. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Right. Okay, okay. It's, it's right here under my blue. Okay, good to know. And then uh, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Okay. I won't look at my card either. In fact, uh, I'll give this to you. So the deck isn't even used at this point. If you can keep your hand on the card, that'll help oh, you. Okay. Because I'm gonna have you guess which card you think you have. Five of spades. Do you want to change your mind for any reason? No, I like the mind I have. It's a, it's a stupid line, isn't it? It's so stocky. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, well, if I had to guess the card um, in your pocket, I'd pick up the 
seven spades. Not even close. Yeah. Uh, no, maybe seven hearts. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's 152, right? Right. So if either of us are even close, that's pretty good. Yeah, that'd be great, dude. Yeah. Let's go ahead and let's look how we see we did. Okay. Go pull it up. The card. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think, uh, I, think I, got, I think I got the one you named. Well, I think I got yours. Wait, so you got the seven of uh, hearts? Sorry, Sam. That's when I got the five of clubs. Five of clubs or five of spades? Five of spades. Oh, God, yeah, I was going to say, oh, that's going to be bad. Um, Bree writes, do you have a favorite number? You know what, better, let's have you go in and pick a card first. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can I take it? Yeah, yeah, go and take it out, show it to the camera. Um, did you have a favorite number? I'll ask you. 10. You want to use 10? I like 10, yeah. Okay. Here, can we have you put your card back for me? Uh, okay, well, we'll just have, you guys see it one more time? And then you go ahead and push the card back in. OK? Yeah. So here, we're going to try this. I'm going to do it as best I can, um, kind of like this. This should be exactly 10 cards. Hold out your hand for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What was your card, Bree? Five cards? Uh, five of diamonds. Five of diamonds. And how did you know where it was? <laughs> That's good. That's not going on TV. <laughs> five of hearts. Uh, no, 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 five of diamonds. Five of, I don't know. <laughs> there was a awesome. five involved. That's good. Now, you guys were awesome. Well, the first time that I, I met Jeff was at the Magic Castle. Um, we were work working on a play. We were both participants in a Midsummer Night's Dream that um, um, the castle, the Magic Castle, was putting on for its members. So uh, I met him, and I, my first impression was he was a very um, uh, likable, outgoing kid and very intelligent and had a very nice stage presence. Watching him work on stage was wonderful. He, had very, he was lively and very centered, and I, I really was impressed with him. So I'm sorry, give me the name one more time. Jolene. Jolene and Mark, and you have good instincts, you said? C+. C+, plus. that's all C we need. Plus. All right, well, we're going to see how he does. So let's have... Um, Right here, what's your name? Sean. Sean. Yeah. All right, Sean, go ahead and reach and pull out a card for me. Show it to the camera, show it to everybody who cares. Let me know when everybody's seen it. Did we get a chance to see it already? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. More or less? All right, let's try to put it back. Right there, you sure? OK. Now, um, Jolene, right? You still remember how to shuffle, is that correct? No. Okay. No, I should be fine for this. Okay. Here, yeah. You know how to do the whole. Uh... You have to be the table again. Yeah. As always. So annoying. I feel it. <laughs> That's Mark getting ready right there. <laughs> All right. No, we got a big mess here. System, computer, binary code okay, this guy's tripping me out. You guys don't even need me, we got him. You can musically penetrate each other's All right. Okay, did you guys get to see the card? All right. So, Mark, I'm going to use you to go in and just use your instincts, I guess, to figure out what uh, Jolene's card was. And if you don't get it, that's okay. It's your first time, you're C. So, just go ahead and reach in and pull out a card that kind of. Um, yeah, that stands out to you. And don't show it just yet, but whatever stands out to you. So, Jolene, for the first time, go ahead and say your card out loud. What was it? Really? That's pretty amazing. Um, and how did you do, Mark? Were you at least close? I was C plus close. C plus close. Go ahead and show them how you did. That's C plus if I ever saw it. But that's okay because Mark didn't believe in his instincts. But what was your name again? Sean. Sean, I know you have great instincts, right? Of so if you would just give the card a blow. His instincts oh. will find the jack of spades. Pretty weird. I need some help because I forget sometimes how gravity works. Is anybody familiar with this? Gravity, yeah? Okay, good. Uh, which way does it usually affect things? What was that? I couldn't hear. Oh, things go down. Okay. Now, like that, I guess, right? Now, for me, I get confused because for me, sometimes things fall 
up. And it's very confusing, and, but I appreciate uh, Who has good instincts right here out of you guys? Uh, we just use you. What is your name? One more time. Come here. Sila. Here. Sila, stand right here. Okay, so Miguel. I fear a deck of cards. You know how to shuffle like this? Have you ever seen a shuffle like that before? You think you can do that? I'll be a table for you if you want. No, I can do it. Uh, I've seen people tell me they can do it before. I'm just going to be sure. Not bad. That's pretty good. Here, let me do it again. Wait. There it is. That was beautiful. Thank you. All right. And then, I'm sorry, give me the name one more time. Sila. Sila. All right, Sila, go ahead and just pull out any card. Show it to the camera. Show it to all your friends. It's good? Everybody see it? Yeah? I, I saw it too, but that's actually, we don't want Miguel to see it. That's, yeah, see, that's one person we don't want to see it. So, I'll tell you what, um, Sila, just say stop whenever you like. Today's good, but whatever. Out there? All right, can you see that? Okay, you guys can see it? Everyone but Miguel is not allowed to see it, all right? Did you get to see that card? Okay. So I tell you what, you're going to use your instincts, all right? And I'm going to show you all the cards. What I want you to do, Miguel, is I want you to pick a card out of here. This really stands out to you for some reason. So if, for example, um, I don't know, your, your mind will, I guess, catch one, right? Yeah. Okay. So whatever you see that stands out to you, go ahead and just use that. That's the car that stands out to you. Yeah. You don't want to change your mind for any reason. No. Okay. Uh, Miguel, well, <laughs> actually, we'll ask you, what was the car that you picked? Six. It was a six, uh, maybe of a black or a red one, do you remember? Black. A black six, okay. And how did you do, Miguel? Show me your card. A red seven, not bad. That was pretty close. I mean, maybe it's his first time. I know you're really good at shuffling, so you're worried about that. But if he just did one extra thing, if you just did that, Go ahead. It would have changed. I believe that was yours, was it not? Very nice. You guys want to try? <laughs> Miguel, I don't know how you did that. That was very nice. So we got four gentlemen here, and we're gonna have uh, actually all of you pick a card, and then I'm gonna try to find them. So this is four times harder than anything you've seen so far. And we'll start over here with Armand. Go and just pull anyone you like. And I'm gonna ask you to hold that. And then uh, Duran, just say stop if you like for me. Stop. You wanna go further, or is this good? That's good. Okay. Go ahead and uh, take this card. All right, and then uh, Rennie, right? Yes. All right, just go ahead and say stop for me whenever you want. It's got to be today. We'll try that one more time. <laughs> it's all right. Stop. Right there? Okay. Can you guys that? And then finally, hello? Um, here, just go ahead and reach in. Actually, just go ahead and pull out a card. It doesn't matter. Anyone's fine. Whatever. There. All right. Whatever. Okay. All right, show it to the camera. In fact, all you guys, show it to the camera if you can. We'll have you put your card back. We'll put yours back. You never get one. Oh, okay. That works for me. <laughs> Put it back. And Try to put yours back in the exact same spot you got it from. Good instincts as always. Very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna try to find all your cards, and I'm gonna start over here with Armin because you were first. So you're gonna be the hardest. So uh, go ahead and say it out for the first time. Card? Yeah. Card your card. Your Behind the back. Three hearts. You got it. All right, that's one for one. Okay. <laughs> Let's move right along. Um, what was your card? Three clubs, I think. Three clubs. Yeah. They're pretty yeah, close to each clubs. other. All right, I think that should be right about here. Oh, that's three diamonds. Wait. Um, no point even catching it if it's the wrong card. I'll, I'll get it again. Three clubs, right? Yeah. Now that's seven of hearts. This, this isn't going too well. <laughs> that's okay. I actually have a backup plan in case I, I can't find your cards. Um, it's an insurance policy, you know, I like to be prepared, 
You never know what's gonna happen in the wilderness, so. You said, what card again? Huh. Well, it says, let's see. Uh, it's a weekend, so we're covered. Um, we can go deeper. No, I should be covered. So, you said three clubs. What was your card? Ten hearts. I can't even, yeah, I can't find these. Um, but luckily, I am insured for the ten of hearts. So we're good there. And then you picked a black three, you said? Well, we have a black three right here. What the fuck? And then what was your card? <laughs> Hello? Um, the queen or the king? The king? Yeah. <laughs> the king. Do you remember the suit? No. If you saw it, would you remember? Yeah. Was it King of That's Diamonds? That's definitely it. <laughs> That's definitely it. Well, Luckily we're covered. <laughs> All right, guys, standing out here in the wilderness. Um, you know, we got a lot of nature around, but we also have some man-made things. In fact, we have, we have some broken bottles. We even got, we got like a nail here. That's weird. Oh, wow. Armin, you have good instincts, right? Yeah. You're in touch with nature? Yeah. I'm gonna give this to you. Go ahead and just hold it in your hands, all right? Clear your mind if you can, almost like you're meditating. Just concentrate on your breathing alone. You know, in five, for count of five, and out, count of seven. Beautifully sounds before. You can start to feel yourself relaxing, right? Your energy flows more freely. You feel all these things? Go and hold the, the nail at your fingertips. Yeah, just like that. Do, do you see anything happening? Uh, not really. You don't, you, you don't feel anything? Hmm. It's bending. Do, do you feel it moving at all? What kind of impression are you getting here? Yo, it's bending. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? It's bending. Yeah, it is. It was like practically straight. No, it's not. What the fuck? Is your family into carpentry at all? Uh, I'm into carpentry. Well, you either have a gift or a curse in that case. I don't believe it. That nail was, how was it when you got it, when you picked it up? Uh, it wasn't that bent. But yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's been bending. Ooh, do you know how you're doing that? Did you, it was from the meditation? I have no idea, man. It never happened it before? It must be like magic or something. So, gentlemen, out of the four of you, who has pockets? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I have one pocket. One pocket, okay. Oh, that's, yeah. a, that's a nice one, okay. <laughs> uh, we'll probably give this to, um, don't tell me, Duran. Yeah. Duran, yeah. yeah. All right, I actually have a small prediction here. Keep it nice and safe, all bundled up, all right? So I'm gonna get this to you, go ahead. I'm gonna have you guard it, okay? okay? So go ahead and just put this in your pocket for now. We'll get to the, back to that in moments. In the meantime, I'm gonna go over to, hello. I want you just to think of one card. All right, you got one already? Now I want this to be as obscure as possible, so I'm gonna ask you to forget that and actually change your mind to a different card. One you would have never thought of in the first place. Okay, I got it. You got a really random one right now? Yeah, I got it. Okay, so for the first time, go ahead and just say the card that's in your mind out loud. This one? The, the, the one that's currently in your mind. Um, ace and black. Uh, spades or clubs? Uh, spades. Yeah, I, I was trying to get the most random card possible. That's the most commonly named card ever. Uh, <laughs> what was the first one, by any chance? Um, I think it was <laughs> a I mean, we, like a jack. A jack? Yeah. Okay. Diamonds, clubs, hearts, or spades? There's um, four of them. Diamonds. Jack of diamonds? Yeah, because I know the names, but that's why. I respect that. Yeah. Um, okay, so out of the two of those, which one did you want to use? I'll let you Ace. choose. Or Ace for sure? Called. Ace yeah. of spades? Yeah. Okay. Has anyone touched the, uh, the prediction since you've had it? Duran? No one's come near it. Nothing's yeah. happened. Okay, uh, go ahead and pull that out of your pocket. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. 
I'm gonna do this as fair as possible. I'm gonna give this to you. You, once again, you had a choice, you changed your mind, and then you stuck with the choice that you made, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and check, let's see how we did. Show your friends, show it to the camera. What? That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, Franco, it's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Jeff Black's the name, and uh, I know Brian, you wanted to be on camera? Yeah. So, here, well, Brian, just go and touch your card if you can. All right, well, it's cool. I'll show it to you. I'll show it to everybody. Oh, good geez. choice. Yeah, that's Very a nice. Great card. Here, in fact, can I have um, you sign this, Franco? Really big, really, really big. Just my name or anything? Yeah, oh, you whatever you want. Good. All right. That's really great. Um, can we get you to sign it too? All right, so this way, even if I could have predicted Franco was going to sign like this, I had two people sign it just in case. Right, right, so the Ace of Clubs is totally unique now, right? And it's going to be your job to confirm that's the same signature later on, right? So Deal. one last chance to see it. You got it, right? Okay, watch close. My first name is Jeff. And my last name is what? What's my last name? Wes. Wes, some with a W. Black. Black. It's black. black. So I'm going to use black magic to make your card travel through my body. Not only does one card fall to the ground, but it's not a random card. It is that signed card. Is that the oh, same wow. signature? That is. How'd you do it? So and you know. Black magic. There Black it is. Magic. That's okay. This one's kind of cool, um, but a lot of people suspect it. So go ahead and check that out for me. Make sure. <laughs> Does it fit? Does it fit? Yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't fit any of my fingers. Alright, we'll give this a try, alright? This doesn't always work, but I'm gonna try to connect our souls for the ultimate power, alright? Alright, I hope this works. Alright. The eyes are the windows to the soul. Alright. Hold out your hand just like this. Oh God, let me touch you. Is that a shrink? Whoa, guys. Hey, Where you get that? You wanted that bad, you can ask. Oh! Mike up. That's what it says. I didn't, uh, I didn't get a yes, but uh, I thank you very much, Katie and Kate. Thank you. Thank you guys you. have a wonderful evening. You're awesome. Thanks, AJ. Yep. Woo! Let's see, we can have, what was the name again? Quint. Get a little more in the forefront here. Okay. All right, you're gonna help me out. Go ahead and just pull out a card if you can. Show it to the group, show it to the camera. I'll look away while you do that. Let me know when everybody's seen it. It's good? Yep. All right, and try to put it back in the exact same place you got it from. I'm just messing, that's perfect. Right there, you sure? Okay. So, if you had real magic, what would your magic words be? Kablam. Kablam. What was that? <laughs> All right, Kablam. That's a good one. These are actually good ones. What was your card? Um, two of clubs. You sure? Huh. That's weird because um, you take the deck. Check the. You got it right there? Yeah. Very nicely done. Okay, let's try that one more time. This time we'll have Quaid, right? Yeah. Go and just touch any card. Just touch one. Okay. So we got Quaid's card, so this deck really uh, stiff, I guess. Have we got it? All right, not this one, this one, okay. Here, you're gonna help me out. I'm gonna attempt to make a fan with these cards. Not too successful, this fan's a mess, but you just have to take your card and just push it in the fan and I'll find it. Just push it right in there. Good, good, watch. All right, is that it? No? None of these? None? Nope. Well, that one. <laughs> what the? If we had uh, Julio, why don't you go ahead? Just touch a card, just touch one, doesn't matter. Anyone's fine. Uh, you want, which one? Okay, so um, go ahead and just take your hand, just like this, and grab the card, and put it in your back pocket, okay? 
And then we're going to have another card picked. Uh, I'm sorry, tell me the name one more time. Fernando. Fernando, okay. Fernando, you know what to do. Just go and just touch any card, it doesn't matter. That one right here? Yeah, that one right there. Okay, uh, Six of Clubs. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Six of Clubs right here. And all we have to do is, hmm, you know what? I think we'd be better off if we put it on the bottom. Six of Clubs right here, okay? Watch. Do you remember the card in your pocket still, Julio? What was it? Wait, wait, wait. Just, just by memory alone. Does anybody remember? Anybody? Eight of hearts. Eight of hearts. So eight of hearts in your pocket. Watch the six of clubs. Right here is where it's going to happen. What the? Eight of hearts, meaning the card in your pocket is now the six of clubs. Wow. That was good. That was good. Thank you. That was good. Oh, you guys are great. All right, guys. Have you been to Las Vegas before? Many times, yes. yes. Perfect. Do you guys ever play in the casino? No, you're smart, yeah. smart. Yeah, I know, right? I'm gonna show you why they don't let me play in the casinos. So before we do this, I'm gonna need two cards to kind of help me. Um, we're gonna use the Red Kings. Red Kings? Oh, yeah, cool. King of Hearts is my favorite, so we'll use that one in the King of Diamonds. And we're gonna have Michael, why don't you just go and pull out any other card, okay? Okay. Don't show it to you? Don't show it to me, show it to the camera, show it to everybody else. Right. And if we can actually have you write your name, actually, on that card, that'd be great. Uh, on the front of it, right? Yeah. Okay. And then if you can put that back in the exact same spot you got it from. Beautiful. I was talking about the Sharpie, but... He's gonna blow our mind. Yeah, I'll give you blow mind. Here, before I can blow your mind, <laughs> go ahead and check sure the Kings, make sure there's nothing in between them. I don't keep your card on top, it's not on the bottom. Whether you know it or not, it's already in between the kings. All right, we're gonna find it on three. One, two, three. What the fuck? Damn. Damn. Okay, that was good, but it was a little bit quick, I understand, so maybe we should try that again. This time, I'm gonna hand you your card. And is that your signature still, or is no? Yeah, that is mine, yeah. Okay. So, it's gonna be your job to confirm that it's your signature again in a moment, all right? Watch close. Now, my first name is Jeff, and my last name is what? Jeff Black. That's correct. So that means that I use black magic to find your card, and to make it go through my body. Watch. Is that your signature? Yeah. That's clean. <laughs> That's clean. That's pretty good. I like really it. Really good. It was good. Yeah. Tripped me out. Yeah, that was uh, This guy's legit right here. Yeah, Mr. Black right here. Well, well, I think one of the things, Jeff, um, he, he has a, a nice personality. He's a very pleasant person, very sophisticated person. I like the way he, he dresses. He likes to uh, look good and, and be a little dressier. And I think it's become very common for a magician to adopt a kind of street persona, um, you know. But I like I like to see performers when they come into some place where people are dressed up to be dressed at least as well, you know, better than the audience. So I like to see Jeff because of that. Hey. Hi. What's the name? Hi. Mike. Nice Hi. to meet you. And Chris. good to meet you, Chris. And you guys are from the UK, is that right? Yeah. All right, well, I got something kind of interesting you guys might like. Um, actually, three coins I've collected from around the world. Uh, the American half dollar, not from around the world, from here, but we have the Mexican centavo and English penny. Or not English penny, I'm sorry. Uh, the brass Chinese coin. Do you guys want to check it out? Yeah. I mean, just... All you got to remember is uh, we have those three coins. Illuminati. Centavo. Are you going to eat those coins or what? <laughs> no, they're not filled with chocolate, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> I found out the hard way. But yeah, we have three different coins, and I'm actually going to do observation tests with you two, okay? So if I take out uh, the half dollar, which coins are left in my hand? Uh, the Chinese and the Mexican. The centavo, that's right, yeah, absolutely. Let's try that again. Um, this time, if I take out, this time we'll take out, yeah, the centavo and the brass coin, which, which ones are left? The dollar. The, the half dollar? I'm sorry, maybe I'm going too quick here. We got uh, the Chinese coin and the centavo. Well, I know what's going on here. 
let's try it again. Maybe we weren't watching close enough. We'll try it with uh, the, the silver coin being taken out, right? So now, what's in what chance? Yeah. You think the Mexican and uh, brass one are this one? You're very sharp, that's right, see? <laughs> All right, this is going kind of quick. It's going quick, I know. Let's try it one more time, this time. Uh, because it's my hands, dude. Your hands are perfectly still. Here, we're gonna take these out. Take this one, and then uh, I'll tell you how to do this. We actually have duplicate coins, okay? So I keep these two over here, and then over here, I can't explain it, but I also keep the half dollar. It can be very confusing, I know. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you very much. Very Appreciate good. it. You guys are awesome. See you. Hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're excellent for this. In fact, uh, would you come over here? Hi, uh, I'm Jeff. What is your name? Yetta. Yetta, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, I have here a deck of cards, Yetta. All of them are different. And we're going to have you pick one of them. It really doesn't matter to me. Have you done this before? Okay. All right, you're going to be perfect for this then, OK? All right, so you can reach in and pull out any card. It doesn't matter. Anyone's fine. And then, yeah, anyone. And then show it to the camera, show it to your friends. I'll look away. And then just go ahead and just stick it in somewhere. Okay. So we're really gonna lose it. And now I'm gonna try to find your card from behind my back, okay? Behind the back. Th oh, okay, that's all right. I got this, don't worry. Snap of the fingers. Okay, well, all right, I'm insured for this. That was Ace of Diamonds. I, I don't know what she picked, but I'm insured for this, okay? So I'm just gonna take out my little uh, contingency plan. It's an insurance policy for me. Let's see what we got here. All right, um, we have to be dealing with a full deck of cards. We are. It's valid uh, Monday through Fridays and weekends only, so we're good on that. Um, yeah, we got hands covered. Everything should be covered. Derived from policy. Oh, I can get the maximum benefits from this policy when it's fully extended. So, what was your card, by the way? A king of what? Really? I guess I'm covered. I don't get it either. Yeah, I am so glad you picked the king of hearts. All right, we'll try it one more time. Actually, we'll do it for the first time ever. All right, so starting over here. Go ahead and say stop whenever you want. Stop. These are brand new cards. That's why they're really slippery, you know. All right, and then whenever you want, just say stop. Okay, it's good. Black magic. Oh, black magic? Yeah. No, 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 my name is Jeff Black. All right, and then Jeremy, right? Right there? Okay, remember that? And then Pedro. Right there? Okay, that's good. <laughs> All right, uh, Felix, yeah. A little faster, okay. Remember that? It's good. And then give me the name one more time. Luisa. Luisa, whenever you want. Okay. Where are you from, Luisa? Brazil. Brazil, okay, Isabella. Stop. Remember that? Yep. It's good. And then Lorival, whenever you want. Stop. All right, remember that? Okay, so now we got, I think, a little bit less, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards picked. I think I can do seven. So we'll start over here with Lorival. You remember your card? Yeah. Say it once again. Was it Ace of Diamonds? A and the three. <laughs> oh, the black. Uh, three of clubs? Yeah. Okay, I'll see what I can do. With that information, I'm going to make one card actually jump to the top. It should have worked. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> It's the Clovers. Okay, cool. So we got that one. Isabella, what was your card? Say uh, it for everybody. Jack of Clubs. All right, I need your help. Just blow. Isabella, how skilled are you? Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Good. Thanks. You guys are great. Okay. So we got King of Hearts. Was that yours? No, it's Queen of Diamonds. Queen of, Queen of Diamonds, really? Not Five of Spades. No. All right, I'm gonna find this with just one hand, just for you. Okay. Watch the five as it changes slowly into the Queen. Up top. I don't know how that works. All right, Felix, how about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold out your hand. Four spades. 
Four of spades. <laughs> All right, we got four of spades. I don't know my card, jump me. Jump you? Yeah, I don't know my card. Uh, okay, well, I think there's actually a good reason for that. It's not your fault. You see, I do keep one card in my pocket at all times. The Queen of Clubs, which I assume had to be yours, yeah. <laughs> like that? No, wait, 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 wait. I think that one was yours, but we'll get to that in a bit, okay? What was your card? Jack of Clubs. I find it the most difficult way I know how. This is called the Brazilian waterfall. It actually originated in Brazil. I'm dead serious. <laughs> and it's, I learned it in LA, but I should find your Jack of Spades. All right, Jack of Spades. <laughs> okay, only two left. All right. I'm going to skip you. I'm sorry. What was your card? Ace of Hearts. You sure? Because you remember a moment ago I put a card in my pocket, right? And I was just a wild guess, but it actually was the Ace. Oh, uh, no way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ace of Hearts. And what was your card? Uh, it was a nine. Or one standing. It was a nine. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. Oh, if I get a nine, it'll be good. So I'm going to take the deck and squeeze. I told you the magic Until one card is left. Oh, it was a ten. It's right, it's right. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Boom. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Pick a card and you're going to sign it, okay? Yeah. So, I don't know if you can just uh, have say stop or, yeah, yeah. We'll just have you say stop. Right there? Okay. Have you go and take this card. In fact, I want you to write your name really big right here on the face. Very nice, Ken. I'll take that. I'll tell you what we're going to do here. We're going to take your card and I'm actually going to rip. this off. I'm going to give that to you. Watch. All right. Now, I know your memory is a little bit malleable at this point, so you're not exactly sure what happened or when it happens. But do you know where that corner is of that floor? Do you remember what you were drinking a minute ago? <laughs> yes. I do too. I believe you put it over there along with the corner of the card that you picked. Go and take it off. See if that matches up. Nice to meet you, Diana. Hi. Evelyn, it's a pleasure. Uh, so Jeff Black is the name. So. Uh, as you probably have guessed, I use black magic uh -huh. to, you know, do the impossible. So, for example, let's have Evelyn. Go and just pull out any card, anyone's fine. Show it, uh, Diana, show it to the camera. And then go ahead and actually put it face up, face up in the deck. So obviously your card is very easy to find at this point. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do something kind of crazy. It makes up face down or face up cards. And that way, now I can't be sure which way your card is facing. It could be face down, it could be face up. I mean, the deck is such a mess. Who knows? But if I have Diana use her magic, I know you got some magic, right? <laughs> if I have you use your magic, let's go ahead and do your thing. Do you have any magic words? No. No. A little negative, <laughs> but uh, I guess it'll work. Uh, abracadabra. Very nicely done. <laughs> that should make it so that every single card oh. <laughs> in the deck fixes oh. itself, except Live. for one. The Jack of Spades. Diana, that was very impressive. Thank you. I, I didn't think I had it in me. <laughs> well, I want to be sure that it is in you. So go ahead and pull out another one for me. Actually, better yet, say stop. Stop. Right there? All right, go and take that card. And do you know how to shuffle? We'll give this to Diana. You're going to have to find this one. Do you know how to shuffle? Like, give it a quicker so you can give it a cut or a, I can do a mix. Oh, sure, sure. Knees flat, no? <laughs> <laughs> wow. She's done this before. I play a lot of speed. She's done this before for sure. All right. And then go ahead and say stop for me, Diana, whenever you like. Let's go. Try that again. Like that? Okay. Lose the card in the deck. And now, do you guys have a card box I can use? No. 
I'll use this one then. And then Diana, would you open your, your hand? Beautiful. We're going to lose. Have you going to grip this really tight? Beautiful. And now we're going to do a little breathing exercises. See if you really have the magic in you, like I know you do. So breathe deep. And begin to start relaxing at this point. Breathe deep again. Let the relaxation course all the way through your body, from your toes to your knees. Keep breathing to your abdomen, moving all the way up to your shoulders, moving down your shoulders into your arms, your forearms, your hands, your fingers. Fully relax at this point. Every muscle in your body needs to loosen up. Are you doing this? I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, don't be nervous. That's okay. You're doing great. As you can see, you're making a little bit of progress here. What the hell? Are, are you seeing this? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that the one that you chose, Evelyn? No, <laughs> Amazing, Diana. You gotta tell me how you did those. I, I you did everything. Wait, wait, did I tell you how I was gonna do it in the beginning? Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember my last name? Black, black. Do you remember how I did it? Black magic. Tell it to the camera. Black magic. I'm Jeff. Nice Hi, to meet Jeff. you. Nice I'm Julia. Hi, Julia. Nice to meet you. Julie. Julie. The one who's Angie. Whatever. <laughs> I'm Christian. Uh, what's up, Christian? Somebody wants to be all right. How's it going, sir? All right. Well, let's go try something really fun here. I want to meet all you guys, so I'm going to do the best I can. And uh, what's your name, sir? Ted. Ted. I'm, my, I will have my fingers go through the cards, just like this. Yeah. Say stop anywhere you like. Stop. Right there? Stop. All right, we got Ted's card. Remember that? Yeah? I think All right. Angie was doing the trick. Try to remember that. No, we'll get to you guys. We'll try to meet everyone. And then Christian, right? Yeah. Go ahead, Christian. You know the drill. Stop. It's got to be oh. today, but that's all right. Stop. Right there? Yeah. All right. Do you remember that, Christian? Yeah. Just remember that. And then Angie, right? Yes. Whenever you want, Angie. Stop. Right there? OK. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. It's different from yours, Christian? Huh? It's a different card from yours? Yes. yes. OK. Yeah. And then Julia, I believe, right? Yeah. All right, Julia. Stop. Do you want the person text you the card? Uh, do you want a different one? All right, can I give this one to you? I'll take it, I'll take it. All right, Julia, that's gonna be Julie's card, and then Julia, whenever you want. I'll look, right there? I'm not looking, is it good? Okay. Okay. And then behind Julia, uh, what's your name? Tim. Tim? Tim Marie. nice to meet you, Tim Marie. That's a beautiful name. Whatever you want. Stop. Right there? Okay. Did you get that? It's good? Yeah. yeah I All right. Hard. I know. I <laughs> yeah, okay, try to remember your own. Oh, no, so I got I <laughs> three, four, five, six cards picked. That means this trick is six yeah. times harder than normal. Tim Marie, are you with me? Yeah. All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, I'll snap my fingers and your card's gonna fly out. Spin 12 times and land on my hand. It is. All right, I think I got it. Don't worry. You ready? I feel like. Oh, there we go. I think I got it. What was your card? Ten of clubs? Yes, it was. All right, ten of clubs. Yes, it was. All right, we got one. Okay. Uh, and then I think we're on Julia. Do you remember your card, Julia? What was it? I can tell you. No, it's not for my benefit. It's for everyone else's. What was it? Four. Of? Hearts? Yeah. Go ahead and just blow. Four oh, hearts. Fuck. I've seen it. Oh, no. I've seen it. <laughs> All right, Julia, then we'll find one that uh, you don't see, hopefully. Yeah, where's mine? What was yours? What? Don't say a lot. Was it nine of clubs? Nine of diamonds? Any of these? All right, watch close. You don't get to see this more than once. One hand, just a wave. Five of diamonds. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, Angie. It's getting more difficult. We only have a couple left. What was yours? Five hearts, not five of diamonds. All right. I'll find this the most difficult way I know how. With the Brazilian waterfall. Oh, that's so pretty. oh I think we got it. Negative, uh, homie. Negative, homie. <laughs> All right, we did get five of hearts, though. We got two left. These are the most difficult. Christian, I'm going to skip you. What was your card? You forgot your card, sir? I don't know when I see it. 
Uh, okay, was it one of the ones that fell? <laughs> no, all right, I think I have an idea. Maybe you picked the one in my pocket, the Jack of Hearts. Yeah, all right, we got that one. <laughs> Christian, yours is the hardest. What was yours, Christian? Three of the little clover things. Three of the little clover Three. things. I'm going to take the deck and I'm going to squeeze. Okay. So hard that only one card is left. But not just any oh, card. The three of clubs. Thank you. No, I won't finish the card first. It was beautiful yeah, and amazing. It was pretty it was pretty hot.